So you're sending connection requests on LinkedIn. And the question is, do you use personalized note or do you just ignore it? It seems like there's a debate <laughs> going on on LinkedIn about this topic because the results vary a lot. They depend on your profile. They depend on your target audience. They depend on all sorts of things. So here I actually present some of the observations from the findings that I'm made while running a campaign for a friend of mine. Connection requests with or without the note. I sent out 110 requests with personalization and out of those 23 were accepted and that is approximately 21%. Then I had 78 connection requests sent out without any form of personalization. Just click connect and that was it. And I got 11 out of 78 and there's a bit of a typo here. It shouldn't be 11%. That's 14%. So 14% and 21%. Based on these findings, it might seem like it makes a lot of sense to personalize the requests but send them the by sending the notes. But do not forget about the time expenditure. It takes roughly 90 seconds to send a request with the note and it takes five seconds to send a request without the note. So personalized notes, they take a lot of time, right? So you have to check out the person's profile, you read their about section, maybe there is something, maybe there isn't. What is that that you can do? Maybe you can leave a comment as well, but they do not always produce content. And if, even if they produce content, you leave a comment, they might not see it, like whatever. It takes a while. And you have to use your brain power to do this as well. So you cannot like, just do it. So in 90 minutes, if you were to personalize then you would send out approximately 60 requests. And, in f and uh, if you weren't going to personalize anything, you would actually send out 60 requests in five minutes. The takeaway is that in 90 minutes, you can send 60 requests with the, with the converting that would convert at roughly 21%, or you can send 1,080 requests without the note converting at, again, it should be 14%. And the choice is obvious. Of course, you'd go for the second option because you can send, send out a lot more connection requests. Obviously, there are LinkedIn limitations, especially if you're on free LinkedIn, if you're not using any form of like LinkedIn sales navigator, but it's still something you would do anyway. So here's what the connection strategy looks like. Instead of personalization, send requests without any notes, then withdraw those that do not convert in one, two weeks. So you send something out, you wait for a week or two. If, if the person doesn't accept your request, just withdraw it. It's a good practice anyway, because you, you want to avoid them building up anyway. And then three, you send personalized requests again in three weeks. Why in three weeks? Well, because that is the LinkedIn limitation. Once you withdraw the connection request, you can only reach out to this person once again, try to connect with them again in three weeks. And now, you can actually, you know, add a bit of a personalization because you haven't used any personalization before. And arguably, because if they use on LinkedIn, they'll see your face there once again. So they'll be like, oh yeah, I've seen this guy before. He's trying to reach out. There's a personalized note now. I'll, you know, seems like I can connect with them. So it also plays with their psychology. This method will allow you to kind of avo avoid the waste at the start. Yeah, because you will basically weed out everybody who's willing to connect with you without any form of personalization. So we have to use this opportunity. And then in three weeks, you can come back to all those other people that didn't convert and add a personalized note and see how that performs, okay? So that is about it. So let me know if you use any personalized notes in your connection requests. And if you do, maybe share some strategy or tactic that you use in the comments below. I hope this video serves you well. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, show me some love, maybe like a like or subscribe, whatever it is. I'll see you in the next one.